today's video is super exciting because I'm going to be announcing round four of a Very Merry Readathon. If you don't know what a Very Merry Readathon is, it is a Christmas slash holiday themed readathon that I created back in 2016, which is crazy to think about because it doesn't seem that long ago, yet we've done four of these already or we're doing our fourth one now. So that's just crazy. But this year it's going to be taking place from December 15th to the 21st. We have five challenges just like last year but first let me introduce you to my lovely co-hosts. We have a lot of the hosts returning from last year but we also have a new host this year although she isn't that new because she actually helped me co-host the first round of a Very Merry Readathon and that is Melissa over at the Bookish Babbler and then returning from last year we have Vanessa over at Paper Fairy, Christina over at Christina's Journey, and Krista over at the Bookish Porcupine. All of their channels will be linked down below. If you're not watching them already I would 100% recommend that you do because I absolutely adore all of them and yeah now let's just jump into the challenges. So challenge one is the same one that we have every year and that is to read a book that is set during the holidays. So this can be a book completely about Christmas like The Afterlife of Holly Chase or it could just be set partially during the holidays like Harry Potter. It's completely up to you. The whole point of this readathon is just for it to be really laid back so you can kind of interpret the challenges however you want to to make them easiest for you. Challenge two is to read a book with Christmassy colors on the cover and again this can be up to your interpretation of whatever a Christmas or holiday color is. For me it would be like red, green, white, silver, gold, blue even. So yeah it's pretty easy to complete this challenge as well. Challenge three is to read a book that spells out snow in the title. So for an example of this you could take the book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and you can take the S from Adventures, the N from Wonderland, the O from Wonderland, and the W from Wonderland and you spell out snow. Also if you have a book that just has snow in the title then you automatically complete that challenge. To make it even a little bit easier you can also take letters out of the author's name as well to spell out snow in the title. Challenge four is to read a book by the fire and again this can be up to your interpretation so it could be an actual fire or it could be one of those little ulog videos on YouTube or by candlelight because that's technically a fire. It is completely up to whatever is easiest for you to do. Our fifth and final challenge which is our final challenge every year year is to read a book just because you want to. I know that at the holidays you tend to be very busy and completing a readathon or participating in a readathon isn't always the easiest thing to do so just take this challenge to read whatever book you want to. Maybe it's a book that you have been planning to read all year and you didn't get around to it so now this is your final chance to read this book. It is completely up to you whatever you want it completes this challenge. As per usual you can double, triple, quadruple, and so on as many challenges as you would like to. If you can find one book to complete all five challenges then go you because I'm all for that. We will also be hosting reading sprints on Twitter this year like we always do so if you're not already following our Twitter account it's just at Mary Readathon on Twitter. And yeah I think that is about all that I have to mention for this video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you will be participating in this readathon. We would love to have you join us. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! You hear that, Samson?